guys, I thought I'd do a little bit of a different video here tonight and uh, basically this one's on programming. Pretty sure I covered this before but I just looked at my channel and I must have deleted the video. <laughs> but anyways, tonight I'm going to show you how to program the uh, Kenwood uh, TK760. 760H, this one here, as well as the exact same program method also works with the TK 860H, that's uh, 760VHF, 860GOHF. So <clears throat> basically, how you program the 760, you need a program uh, by Kenwood, and it's called the KPG29D, and. Um, 29D is a uh, it's a DAS program, and uh, I've tried getting this program to work on Windows 7, and it just will not work. So basically, you want to go all the way back. If you can get a computer or you have a copy of Windows 98, you're doing grand with a COM port. You have no problem making the KPG 29D work. So basically. We want to get this program started, which is the KPG 29D execute program. This one right here. So we'll just start her up. And you'll come to this program here. This is the, let me zoom in here so you can see a bit better. And there you go. That's the blue screen of death at the call, but no, nope, it's actually the this is the program itself. This program will work with the TK760, 762, 768, 860, 862, and 868 series radios. And this is version 2.01 and it was released on 0802 1996. Copyright Kimwa Corporation 1996. All rights reserved, obviously. So, press any key, to start. So there you go. That there is the main, uh, the main screen for the programming, for the program software, for the KPG 2090. And as you see in this corner, she's set up for 760, 760, uh, 760H. So the, pro, the programming cable you need, you can buy off eBay. Uh, I bought one. It didn't work. Me and Ray had to sit down for a couple hours to try to sort it out, but we got it working. I'll show you. I'll show you that video soon. Or, and uh, the programming cable, the radio is a six-pin plug. The radio takes six pins, and it just plugs right into the front of the radio. So I'll zoom out. Try to zoom out. Zoom out. Move up. There we go. As again, just the cord just plugs right in front of the radio. Simple as that. So right now I already have a bunch of stuff programmed into this radio. So again, I'm going to zoom into the screen here so you can see. So right now I'm just going to basically read the radio. So you want to, you got your menu, alt. So right now you want to bring up the menu in order to do anything with the program. And then you just zoom across with the back and forth arrows, keys on your keyboard. You select your model there. And the options you want to do with it, program, set up the COM port, color, whatever. But right now we're in program. And this here is read from radio. So let's read it. And you'll see a little bar coming up here. Uh, read data from radio, okay. And now you'll see that coming across. Right now she's reading radio. Press any key. And here we go. That's what's programmed into it. You can also program in other frequencies if you want to listen to emergency services. Like I also like to monitor, considering, well, I'm basically responsible for keeping their radio systems on the air. So I like to listen to them. Uh, you can disable transmit, which as you can see here, it is all blank. This means that transmit has been disabled on these channels 26 to 32. You can listen, but can't transmit. You go up to the top. 
you'll see that receive and transmit is enabled. That's two meter receive, two meter transmit. So here you go. So channel eight, you want to say put in a frequency on channel eight. Well, or channel seven router. I do literally type it in. Say one. Uh, 146.825 Open it up Make that 145.825 Anybody's in the packet with no less UISS frequency Right now she's just set up for receive So you have to punch in your transmit frequency If you want to be able to transmit there 45.825 Enter So at this point you can set up your uh, your tones, your encoding, decode, encode up here. Right now you can see uh, 147345 is got an encode of 100. That's 100 hertz. So this particular repeater, which is via one RCR, it requires 100 hertz tone to be transmitted on in order for it to work. So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. All right, so. That's on her tone right here is where we're at the bottom line. So right now, you got option if you want to put option uh, P if you want to set a PTT ID, you put it here. Um, if you want to go like busy, busy uh, repeater lockout or whatever, you put here. And right here would be uh, power output. You know, this is set to high. Amateur radio, we all know you don't need high power. So you just select enter. Uh, yeah, sure. F2, or space, change it. So that's low. And of course, we're using wide, not narrow. So put that to wide. And over here, in this corner, that scan. So we can add this channel to the scan, or we can delete it from scan. I'll just delete it. That means I can delete it off the system if I don't want to use it. And that's pretty much that much. So let's zoom out again. So now we want to program the radio. So again, Alt for menu brings it up. And you'll see up here in this corner, you'll see that it's now read from radio, write radio, or test mode. Well, obviously we want to write. So we do it down arrow and enter. And yes, you want to overwrite it. And now you'll see that box going in. And now the radio is programmed. Now, if you want to see what the actual radio is doing when this is programming, I'll just put you on the, I'll put you on the radio so you can see the screen. I'll just read her and then I'll write to her again, just so you can see what the screen is doing on the radio. Ah, there we go. Using a tripod here. <laughs> So, right now I'm going to read from the radio, just so you can see what the screen does. You see she's on PC, so she's reading. And she resets. And now I'm going to write this information back to the radio. Now she's right. There we go. It's as simple as that. That's the KPG 29D. And that's how you program the uh, the Kenwood TK 760 series radios. Very simple, very easy, and uh, you can still get the programming cable. You can get it off eBay. It's a uh, well, it's not an original Kenwood. Obviously, it's made in China, and it's not going to work. <laughs> you had to modify the actual board to get it to talk to the radio. 760 is the exact, or the 860 is the exact same programming as you would do for the 760. So, that's it. That's how you program the Kenwood TK 760. Now, in regards to the programming cable, this uh, this part here is all you would get when you buy the programming cable. The interface is in there, but as you can say, it's uh, electric tape because the top of it has actually been cut off. The top cover, say, has been cut clear. Now, for the 760 to actually work, 
you for this board to actually work with that radio, you need to supply 5 volts. Well, the COM port don't supply that voltage. So, what I did, I supply it through USB. Plug in my USB port, plug it in USB port, and I got power for the board. And that's how I'm able to uh, program the radio. So, there we have it. Very easy, very simple. And uh, if you need more information about the uh, programming cable itself, you can let me know. And um, I'm planning on doing a diagram actually up on the mods to make this board work. And uh, post it on my website. Anyways, take it easy and all the best. And you want further information? You know where to find me. Ciao. Alright, so another side note on the uh, TK760. In case nobody really knows, <clears throat> actually it was a mystery to me for a little bit, but I kind of got over it, <laughs> is how you actually get this thing to scan. It's not as simple as just hitting the scan button and getting this thing to scan. Well, you actually have to put a ground wire between the chassis of the radio and the metal part the microphone believe it or not and the easiest way to make this work usually the radios are supplied with a jumper wire and you just clip onto here and you clip onto the mic clip hang in your microphone clip in that and hit scan I should scan the whole channel. Every time when you appear in the mic, she automatically stop scan. See? That's how she does it. Easy. So there we go. Again, the uh, program for the TK760H is made possible by the uh, KPG 29D programming software by Kenwood. Anyway, guys, take it easy and 73s.